Hey there, Karen Haley here, your IBD health coach. I am jumping on to let you know about an amazing interview that I just had with Margie Holly. She is a craniosacral therapist, a massage therapist, and a Reiki therapist. And she's joining me on the podcast, the Cheeky Podcast for Moms with IBD, to tell us all about how craniosacral therapy can be a part of your IBD healing regime, your healing regime to bring your Crohn's and colitis into remission. Margie has such a wonderful energy and a wonderful spirit. I just think you guys are going to fall in love with her and the amazing work that she's doing. Whether you have never heard of craniosacral therapy or it's something that you've known about for years, I really think you're going to find value in this um, interview. So take a listen and in the comments, let me know what you think. You can get in touch with Margie at her website. It's in the show notes below this video. So we kind of talked around, um, like just in general terms, what craniosacral therapy is, but I would really love for you to talk our listeners through what happens during a craniosacral therapy session. Like, you know, when I come in the door, like from start to finish, what's happening? Because for somebody who's never heard of this before, it might sound kind of woo woo. And like, what, what are they actually doing? You know, like how, a lot of people are familiar with massage. How is it different than massage? How is it like massage? Like what's actually happening when someone comes into your office? Well, first, when someone comes to see me, uh, as you said, the, the conversation is the first thing. And there's, there's a reason for that. It's to engage in a partnership, first of all, and understand what your goals are, what your therapeutic goals are, where your challenges are and then to explain how the therapy might help. But it's also, um, there's something that happens in your physiology when your body and your brain hear the words out loud versus just thinking them or writing them down on a piece of paper. There is a physiological response to that. That So at the start of a session, we'll talk about briefly what's, what's going on for you, what's going on in general, what's going on this week or today. Um, because then your nervous system or that mechanism inside that inner healer can hear those words and say, oh, good, that's what's up. We're going to work on that. Great. And it sort of primes your system to work on it. And then we get on a massage table. You're fully clothed. Um, it's, it's very private. You can get under the covers and get all, all cocoony or just lay on top, however you prefer. Um, and the first thing we do is we settle your system. So the craniosacral system, just to sort of back up a little bit, is everything from your head to the bottom of your spine. So it's your brain, it's all of the membranes and the, the, the bones in your skull, it's, it's your spine, the nerves that come down your spine. Um, so that whole system is something that I hold and help to settle. So um, in practical terms, as you're laying on the table, I might contact your, your body in places, very light contact, like I might cradle your head, or I might even hold at your feet or put my hand underneath your sacrum which is that triangular bone at the bottom of your spine. Um, and that helps to settle the nervous system. So the first thing you need to do in, any, in any, anything is to have the resources. Um, so, so maybe the first 10, 15 minutes even of a session might just be being in stillness, getting your system so still that it has a chance to come out of its fight or flight mode and, and come back into the healing rest and digest mode. It lets your, your nervous system settle out so that then I can hear your system. So in those 10 minutes, I'm listening deeply to what's going on in your nervous system. So I can understand where there might be some, some hiccups, some you know, patterns of holding. Um, and then, then your body tells me where we're going to work. And then I get more specific. So in the case of your audience who, who are dealing with you know, IBD, um, I will probably likely work in that uh, that that whole field, um, the abdominal field. Now that starts at the, um, at the diaphragm and goes all the way to the, the top of the pelvis and it encompasses all your viscera, all your vital organs. But it also has other things going on in there. So, so working more specifically with that area can tell me where there might be restrictions that need to be released, where there might be fluid buildup that needs to be flushed where things just need to be able to have a chance to come back into balance. And the great thing about the type of craniosacral I do, it's I'm not putting any force in from outside the body. I'm just sort of letting your body tell me where it needs support. And then when the body is supported, it can say, oh, 
I had no idea I was holding that there. Let me just release that. Let me open. And it's amazing. You felt it, <clears throat> excuse me, in the, in the context of a session. You know, people might just have little twitches or releases or energetic shifts, um, a feeling of flow. There's, there's a lot that can, that can happen in a session. And then, you know, so it's really your, go- your body that's guiding me through just gentle placement of hands on specific areas to help support whatever needs supporting in that area. If you want to hear more from Margie, you want to hear the entire interview where Margie has lots more insights about craniosacral therapy and how it can help those of us with IBD, head on over to wherever you get your podcasts, the Cheeky Podcasts for Moms with IBD. You can hear more about Margie and her story, find out how you can connect with her over there. So check out the episode. I'm Karen Haley, your IBD health coach. And if you want to hear more videos like this, you have to like and subscribe to this channel. Chat soon.